This is it. All right, now. Up till now, everything that I've done is something that anybody can do. Anybody can do the stuff that I've showed you how to do so far. We've gotten this thing taken apart and cleaned. You don't need any special tools. You don't need any of this stuff I do. You can find an alternate way. You can use paint stripper on this. You can use a wire wheel. You can polish that. Uh, we didn't use any special tools on our trucks. The only thing that we've done so far, you may not be able to do, was 3D print this. And I didn't show that because I showed that before. But you don't have to 3D print a base. You can figure out a way to make a base. Most people don't have a milling machine. Okay, for the price of, of you know, five or six brand new locomotives, you can have a milling machine. I'd rather have the mill than those than the brand new locomotives because I like to do this. But you don't have to do this. You do not have to mill this out. You could take some Bondo, fill that in, and just make this, this a little bit shorter. And you can do that. You don't need special tools to do that. You can, with great deal of difficulty, use your moto tool and mill this out. It just takes patience. You're not going to whip that out in a minute or two, but you can do that. Now, here is the trick. This is where the real ma magic happens. We have a fabrication situation because here's our motor. See the tiny shaft on there? The shaft, uh, if you have old AHM especially, I love my first, my first train was an AHM GB18, same shaft size, just for future reference. Athern uses a bigger shaft. Okay. Shaft sizes are not special. They are not unique. They are not rare. We need to get linkage onto the new motor. And if at all possible, we want to use the old linkage. Right? I don't want to fab I, I like fabricating linkage, don't get me wrong. I don't want to on this one because I don't have to. Okay, now here is the part. That right there, it's a little piece. Actually, there's I, I cleaned some extra ones just in case. This right here, you know, connects onto this, connects onto these. This goes on the motor. This is really small. Let's get a, get a good look at it. Okay, I guess that guy's pretty small. Fortunately. And this is where people are going to get stumped. This is where you're going to quit and give up. How are you going to fit this great big one on the end of here and keep it on there? Here's the secret. This is a piece of plastic pipe got at the hobby shop. Uh, I, it's one eighth inch according to my calibers. You know, I mean, you know how they have them bins full of plastic pipe. I think it comes. It's like three feet long or something. But that's all it is and it's got a, it's a pipe so it has a hole in one end watch this amazing magic trick if i take this and i stick it on the end here guess what perfect fit see that now do you see what i'm going to do cut this off there's a hole in the end of it now this hole is smaller than this. That is not going to be a problem because we're going to take this. There's a tap in here, and we don't want to ream it out all the way. We can take the clearance drill, take the tap drill. Use the smaller drill bit first because I found one where I used a one eighth inch or a one sixteenth drill bit, which was just. It made the hole just a little bit too big for wobble on the drill press, but it worked. That is the secret to making this, getting it to fit on here. Not only that, then the only adjustment we need to do are these little, these little tubes here. You remember these things? They go in there. 
Okay, and you cut those off to the length to get it to, to line up just right. That is all there is to that. There's nothing special about using these motors that you can't handle. You can make this. Alright, and you saw in the, the SDP40 video, that's exactly what I did. Plastic pipe.